Hello. Is anybody home? Hey. I am here to visit you aggressively. Was oh, this the leader right off the bat? No, it's not. Wait, maybe? If that's the leader, then easy peasy. I don't. It looks like it. Well, makes my life life super easy. I'm supposed to kill three of these guys with headshots. I should probably do so. Is that it? There's no way that was it. I saw like two guys run off the other direction. Where'd they go? What? <laughs> is that it? Well, this place is... That was fast. I... No, I don't even know what to say. I was expecting... I was expecting more. How the heck are you supposed to get three kills with headshots if there's only three dudes in here? One of them's the boss. Can you headshot? I guess you probably could headshot one of those guys. Alright, well, whatever. What is he doing? What? Get in there. There we go. Okay. Dude just didn't want to go in. Should have just taken the door. I'll take you to the... I don't know. I had a, I had a pun loaded, but I didn't have the follow through. Oh, well. Uh, iron. Yay. I want to get this sword maxed out. I, I was originally hesitant because I, I wasn't sure if like you could max out or if there were multiple weapons to max out. And yeah, that's where I saw somebody run this direction, but I guess... I guess not. Are we done? That was it. <laughs> that was really easy. So peaceful here. What is this place? The other side of honor, I guess. All right, let's check it out. Hello. Oh, this place. This place does look a lot more functional My than Lord, pretty much please go inside. Any, any other will be back soon. section. Hello. Please go inside. <laughs> I thought you I'm were here. Lord Jin Loku, but you're another samurai. Welcome, my lord. I didn't realize there was another samurai that shared my distaste for doors. Hello. Another samurai? You haven't heard of Lord Jin Loku? He's a legendary samurai. I'd like to meet him. When will he return? Soon. Join us for dinner. Perhaps he'll share one of his grand stories with you. from my dangerous mission. Don't worry, I'm unharmed. Oh, I wasn't expecting a visitor. We're happy to have you, of course. Hmm. Thank you. I didn't realize any other samurai had survived. It was a fierce battle, wasn't it? The beaches of Komatsu ran red with blood that terrible day. We fought at Komoda. <laughs> Of course. Forgive me. I'm tired from a long ride. Please, have Nabe show you the bath. We can speak more over dinner. Please follow me, my lord. He's fake. How much do you know of Lord Jinroku? He tells us everything. If it wasn't for him, we would have lost the whole island. When you met him? Was he armed? He gave everything to save Tsushima except his horse. It's at the stables. My bath can wait. I want to look at his horse. Not even a horse, it's like a bear. A farm horse. Never seen battle. So the guy is probably a battlefield looter. Normal tools. Nothing out of the ordinary. You know, just yoinked someone else's armor and has just been out scavenging, pretending he's fighting Mongols and so on and so forth. I know this saddle. It belonged to Lord Higuchi. Jinroku is no samurai. I'll get the truth from him. 
Yo. Thought so. Dude, you goofs. Oh, double kill. Where is Jinroku? He left quickly after you went to the bath. It must have been important. I'll find him. Let's see, where did he go? All right. Well, did he go for it? No, he couldn't have gone for his horse. We would have passed him. Oh, they're, they're their tracks. Uh, do I just follow them? Yeah, I guess I'll just follow follow the tracks I have. Usually it gives me the investigation sig symbol, but I, I guess not today. No, it won't let me mount my horse either. I'm just going to assume he went this direction. Yep, there he is. Well, not he. It's tracks? We need to talk. Stop running, you fool! But Stop! Here. Before it's too late! Sprightly dude for wearing all that armor. I don't want to kill you. Stop! Oh, it's come back? I don't think we've been to that hot spring. I challenge you to a duel! You want to fight me? Yes. It's the only way. If that's your wish, I accept. Bets on him chickening out? Or are we actually fighting him? Oh! Wait, I don't want to die! I ah, called it! I'm sorry! <laughs> Tell me who you really are. I'm nobody! I was just trying to survive! You're impersonating a samurai and bringing dishonor to the name. And you're taking advantage of those women. I know! Please, my lord, let me live! I'll never go back there again! Leave. And if I ever see you wearing that armor again, we will finish our duel. I wasn't hurting anyone. <sighs> Fool. I should tell those women the truth. Uh, that's some hell of fire up there. Okay, can I can I work back there? Okay, I can. I'm a I'm a very quickly go check out why everything is so so burning. Oh, I'm assuming that's the actual path to the shrine. Yeah, but I can fast travel to it anyway. Hell yeah! I I'm assuming this isn't actually going to get me that much closer, I but I will have to go around the fire. Yup. Thought so. Well, I come on, Jin. Let's see those ankles. I really should probably do the roll to avoid fall damage. Kind of bad about that part. Hmm. Well, they seem like the path to the shrine. Well, I'll just encircle the whole place. We'll have to find some kind of foothold somewhere around here. I just don't know where. Oh, this is weird. I've been playing, uh, Fable 1, of all things, recently. And thoroughly enjoyed the experience. I haven't played that game in years. But it is super bizarre being able to actually angle my camera upwards. I'm not seeing an entrance here. Must have missed something. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Maybe? No. Oh. I... Hmm. Well, it's not through there. I I see the branch, but it doesn't look like I'm supposed to be able to handle that. All right. A rough landing, but useful. Yeah, I wanted to practice that. Oh. No, maybe that is where I'm supposed to go. Because I I see the I see the tree branches. It looks like a very clear path for me to go. I just... Okay. okay. That 100% has to be the way around. Maybe I can climb on, up on top and get on onto the upper part of those branches? Yep. If so, it really doesn't look like it. What else we... Oh! Here we go. <laughs> Maybe that's the way back. Oh, it probably is. Okay. Well, I... Yeah, I don't know. Platforming! Commentary over platforming has always been weird for me. It's just kind of like, and jump, and jump, and jump. So I should probably talk about something else. What was I got to talk about? Oh, right, I was, uh, I was playing Fable. Lovely game. Holds up surprisingly well. I mean, absolute, uh, garbage game compared to, say, this. But for a game that was made back in 2004, or 2004? Not 2014. That's, that's a bit too much credit. Uh, for a game made back in 2004, like, pretty, pretty solid products. One problem in that game, you can't look up. And I realize, if you're ever watching me play a video game, and you, you're you like, Wander, look up more. It's because of games like that that wouldn't let you look up back in the day, because, you know, the there was nothing up there, or they just, they either didn't have, like, the uh, texture memory to have a good skybox, or any number of different things. But, uh, I, it was just like this weird, shocking revelation that, yes, you can, in fact, look up in, in other video games. And it's going to take me a lifetime. To realize that. Okay, I guess we might as well bop by the, bop by the bath while we're here too. And then we'll go back to those women, finish the quest, and actually work on some story stuff. I but should tell first, those women the truth. Should go tell the women the the truth, but first, booty. <laughs> She's sitting next to me on the couch. She just looks up the moment I say the word booty. <laughs> Reflect on. Genji's sake or lover's touch? Ooh, spicy. Wish I had some company in here. It's been too long. Oh, it's non-specific. I was hoping you'd actually talk about like a past lover, or nope. Well, all right. Wow, they fixed the doors already. This is unacceptable. <laughs> Lord Sakai, welcome back. Jinroku wasn't the man you thought. He wasn't a samurai at all. Ah, he told you the truth. You knew he was lying? He seemed harmless, and we enjoy having him around. I hope you didn't kill him. He's alive, but he won't be coming back. 
I'll tell the others he left on an important mission. We were fine without him. We will be again. What a weird quest. Probably just pay off for the joke of starting the duel and then him uh, just absolutely bailing on us. Charm of Shadows. Self Charm. Not particularly useful for me. I don't really do the sneaky stuff. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we've got... Who is this? Or Tsushima. Well, question is, how much, how many random side quests do we want to do and how much plot do we want to do? I think I've given up streaming this game entirely. Not necessarily because I, I don't want to stream it. But it's just one of those, I got other things to stream. And it's kind of nice to just do this, this non-recordy, or non-recordy, uh, oh, I need more banners for a saddle. Ah, I, it's just kind of nice to, to be able to be quiet for a while while I just run around and do unimportant things. Speaking of, yeah, let's, let's focus on this a little bit longer. I only have a handful of quite quest left so I might as well kind of bop them out especially because the quest in this game super top tier like I complain about open world games a lot for being boring there's not much to a, to them and the actual like gameplay holds the game up but only for so long and you really do need that like story element to keep you interested in going and so it's like it's kind of fun to look around for the the hidden collectible bits but I take Banjo Kazooie for example. Lovely old game, a lot of things to do, a lot of things to explore, a lot of things to grab, but the levels themselves were pretty small. Running around grabbing a bunch of stuff, you know, the the vast majority of my time is just spent walking and riding and so on and so forth. And I don't really necessarily mind that because this game is so beautiful, but also just because I'm constantly oops. I'm constantly finding new and interesting things to do that is unique. I mean, a lot of it just involves talking to people, watching a cutscene, fighting, but that's half of what these video games are to begin with. And so, like, you kind of have to just have that anyway. That man had a lot of supplies on him. Nice. I don't know what that was. It's okay. But this game really excels at having a big open world that's worth exploring. You know, there's so much environmental variety to actually look at and appreciate. But beyond that, all the little bits that you can do... They feel like they're worth doing. And that's rare for an open world game to have. My lord, have you come to help the Azamor League too? Witcher 3, I think, is the only other one that I can think of off the top of my head that does this well. But even then, I feel like this does it better, because Witcher 3 was actually too much. I've never heard of them. Farmers and fishermen banded together to fight the Mongols. I've come from Ariake to train them. I admire their bravery. How is the training going? They were supposed to meet me here hours ago. I was about to look for them. I'll ride with you. Their leaders stay at a farmhouse nearby. They'll know where the main force is camped. Hiya! As a child, I dreamed of becoming a samurai. Now I'm riding with a real one. But you know how to fight and handle a horse. My village was constantly raided by pirates on the coast. They killed my parents when I was young. I learned to defend myself. I hope the skills I gain through hardship can be of use to the people here. You're not so different from us. There's a fire up ahead. The farmhouse! I thought I knocked her off the horse, but no, Cut she was just down. dismounting. Oh, that's her. 
I'm sorry, I'm not used to what she looks like yet. I made a mistake. Critical misstep. A terrible, tragic mistake. Excuse me, no, I needed that kill for health. Alright, whatever. These are the men I was supposed to meet. If the Mongols found them, they could have found the main force too. I should have come sooner. We can still warn the others. Hear that? They might have found the main force. We have to help them. Hurry, my lord! Wait! I like how they're handling female characters in this one. And I realize it might not be specifically historically accurate, but I... From like a, a purely personal perspective, it is nice to see equal parts... Competent warriors? We can't save everyone. Then I will avenge the dead! The samurai remains calm before a fight. Wait! Like, obviously, she's not doing the smart thing now, but I don't need a strong character to necessarily do the smart thing. Massive inconvenience. Okay. Gotta go for the other people first, otherwise I'm in trouble. I don't know if I get a choice. Ooh. Okay. Archer first. Not really enough to deal with this guy. There we go. Alright, and she's up. And on fire! Uh, oh boy! That was bad! <laughs> she is a I tough lady. Dang. You have skill, but you nearly died rushing into battle. Don't the Mongols anger you? A samurai's most important weapon is himself. Lose control, and you risk defeat. I see. I should return home. Learn to master my emotions. Keep fighting. We need people like you. But remember the lesson. I will, my lord. What a cute horse. Man, leveling takes forever at this point, but that doesn't surprise me. I wonder if there is a maximum level. I mean, there's gotta be. I can't imagine I'm close, though. Because, like, we're, we're not even in Act 2 yet. Okay, is there any sweet loots around here? Yes, there's a smidge. I know there's a black powder bomb that I totally missed. Smoke bomb. Supplies. No, I might have missed out on the black powder bomb. Oh well. I don't need it anyway. Okay. I guess I don't get to stand off against these guys. Alright. Solve his problem.
Okay. Ow. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, this is one of those games that I feel like I have to play a lot of just to master. And I, I can't take too many breaks. Which is a mild tragedy. Because it's one of those where... Ow. There we go. There we go. Killed two guys with kunai. Got it. Done. Oh, there's an archer up there. There's a couple of archers. Ow. That should solve that, man. That should solve him as well. No. Take me to your leader. Excuse me, sir. Ow. 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 Well, that took some doing. Camera angles do not betray me here. Damn it! Nope. Uh, I love this game, but like, sometimes I'm more focused on trying to get the camera to allow me to see what the hell's going on. Are you cowards? than actually, you know, fighting enemies. It's not great. It's the biggest complaint. Well, that sucks. So I'm running real low on kunai here. Okay. Well... No more bonus. Ow. There we go. Kind of go. There he goes. Excuse me, sir. There we go. That's better. So now all that's left is the archers, which is much easier. Actually, try using. Where are they? It's that guy in there. All right. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it, get at him from the outside, no matter what I do. Hey, back up on Kunai. Oh. Okay. Uh, hi. There is. There's the ladder. How do you know I'm in here? I guess I'm not that quiet running around inside this house. Even if I'd like to be. There we go. Really working on those perfect counters is like a game-long thing. It's because I only play two, hour of the, two hours of this game every, like, four days, which means I'm off-timing constantly. It's part of the reason why I haven't gotten back to Sekiro yet, even though Sekiro is probably one of my favorite From Software games. It's one of those where it's just absolutely brutal trying to, uh, trying to, you know, go back to that game and realizing that, like, 
Yeah, I'm just kind of garbage at this. <sighs> There's a game. Oh, uh, Ring Fit actually does kind of a neat thing. That you can actually dynamically change the difficulty based on. You know, how you're feeling and so on and so forth. I always kind of wish games like this had that kind of situation where it's like, I haven't played this in a little while. Little while. Like, take the difficulty down three notches and then slowly build it back up. I I realize that's probably really hard to program, but having a uh, having dynamic difficulty systems in general sounds like it would be absolutely amazing. I'm not done. There's somebody left here. Where? Here you. Alright. Sure. Now we're done. I really wish the uh, challenge all button was actually just straight up intrinsically built into this game. I if it what? Was it just bouncing off of his helmet? Might have. Well, I apparently got the bonus objective. Not really sure if I deserve it. But I got it. Hey, I can get the katana upgrade. That's probably worth it. Okay. Let's see if the fox does weird, confusing garbage this time around. Where are you going, fox? Lead me to your promised land. Oh, well, that's pretty normal. All right, bye. I just... I want another weird ocean fox. But it hasn't... It hasn't happened. All right. So, I've got... I don't have much left, actually. Nice. Where did you All right. Go it's upgrade time. This guy's got a rumor for us, so we might as well talk to him. Do you know of any supplies in the area? No, my lord. But Kami will lend you aid if you pay your respects. Find the Tori gates... Follow them to a shrine, and take what is offered. They say a charm blessed by Kami can change one's fate. I could use that kind of help. Alright, but first... Oh, it's 100 supplies. Well, that's a lot of supplies. No fancy mask, though? Oh. I don't want to die! Hello? Are you hunting for Shigenori's heavenly strike as well, my lord? Hmm. That technique is only one of myth. The musician Yamado insists the myth is real. Well, I'm not surprised. People often speak of his stories with excitement. I heard the tale near Komatsu Forge. If it's as powerful as the story claims, let's hope you never face the technique in battle. Okay, so it's a katana technique, gets us heavenly strike, a sword kit, and moderate legend increase. That might be worth doing. Uh, let's see. So no gifts available. Uh, let's upgrade my sword first and foremost. The faster I kill things, the better. I would be honored to work on your blade, my lord. Okay, is this enough? Yep. Polished like a mirror. Next level, though, Ooh, yeah, it's gonna take some time. At least we got the gold, but that's Apologies. that's it. Apologies, you don't have what we need to do the work. May your steel remain sharp. And I think the armor lady was back over here. She maybe upgrade my bow at some point, but like I barely do archery. Uh, oh no, there's the boyer. Man, I never. Re I every time I come through here, I just get hella lost. Oh, it's because they're all the way over here. 
think. We should gather the others. Find some weapons. How is your armor fitting, my lord? Yep, armor. Okay. So travelers are tired. We just need a lot of supplies. I don't actually really care for that final upgrade. It reduces enemy detection, increased to melee damage. Uh, let's see. So Ronin attires for stealth. Yeah, so the samurai clan armor is probably worth it. You have my thanks. I'm probably. Alright. Well, shall we get these two done? Yeah, let's get these two done. Oh. Quick thing. Let's do this this bamboo strike. Nice part is I turned off the uh the time requirement on it. Which means now it's just a memory game, which I'm much better at. L1, 4Xs, L1 square. Ow. There we go. Much easier. Much more forgiving. Much less frustrating. I'm I'm not great at timed things. I can be, if I need to be. Like, if I absolutely had to do them all timed, I would. But it's not it doesn't actually do anything for me, if that makes any sense. Like, I like playing games somewhat to improve my own skills, my reflexes, keep myself interested, so on and so forth. But it's it's one of those that there are certain things like L1 X, 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 L1 squared, like. That doesn't really help me in any any other capacity other than helping me do the exact same gimmick, uh, gimmick minigames. And nowhere else. You know what, actually, let's leave Heavenly... No, let's not leave Heavenly, Heavenly Strike. I'll do it. It's like, I really want to, I really want to actually progress with this story. I've been putting it off for far too long. I like the open world stuff. It's, it's fun to explore and, and do. Oh, uh. I got a cricket over here. Singing crickets are kind of neat. They apparently give you more flute songs. Okay, and I guess I'll talk to the random person while I'm here. They teach me where cool stuff is, which is, I think, always worth it. I saw a flock of birds circling in the sky, my lord. I went to see where they were and found the most beautiful place. I sat and stared, lost track of time. We all need inspiration these days. During times of conflict, Warriors would visit such places and write haiku. I heard the art of haiku prepares the mind and body for battle. Is it true, my lord? It is. But you don't have to be a warrior to benefit from poetry. Admittedly, a lot of them just sound like weird, a awkward advertising. It's like, have you heard of Smorgasbord? I have not. What is Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord will change your life. <clears throat> Will it really? Yes, it will. Like, just replace the words a little bit and it just get, it becomes goofy. I mean, I guess that's true of, like, almost anything. If you start switching the words out, of course it's going to sound stupid. But still. I've apparently got a collectible in this area. Oh, yeah, so we do. I don't really like the con controller rumbling as a... Uh, a means of showing you where collectibles are, but yeah, is what it is. That'd be an interesting protect me thing to do, like a game or something. Why did why was this never done as a a icebreaker game? But effectively. Somebody writes, like, a statement or a sentence, and the next person changes it so it still makes sense, Dead but bodies. it's a different statement or sentence. 